Hello everyone, welcome to Archer Linux. In this video, we are going to see how to create a bat file for your first video project. And uh, for creating this bat file, uh, we need to take a text file and then write the sample uh, file path where we where the project is project lies. And what this bat file does is uh, you don't need to go to your path studio you don't need uh, you not need to open the your path studio and run the uh, bot by clicking on this uh, ribbon button the debug or run button over here you, you can just click uh, the bat file which presents in your own desktop and you, with this double click over there it will run this process uh, without opening the your path studio by by using your path robot let's see how we can do that in do that now in this video uh, if you then subscribe to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos and if you like this video and give it a like and let's get into the video uh, so uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a sequence over here uh, so I will take a input dialog box over here uh, uh, to get the input from the user I will drag and drop it over here okay I need a input dialog over here so uh, what it will take is uh, your uh, what we need your question and then uh, we will take as answer okay here we take an, an input dialog box so let me click give it output variable for that name it as input uh, so let me also uh, drag a message box over here uh, to see the output uh, which we have given uh, let me take this as input uh, so uh, we completed this flow uh, this flow is basically about uh, asking the input of the user and then showing the input what he has entered so let us quickly run this here and then uh, we will create a bat file in our desktop situation of how it goes so uh, it need to give us a pop-up of input dialog Yeah, so your question and answer, uh, maybe Aditya. So I had showed as Aditya, and this is the uh, workflow that we have designed. So uh, let us quickly see uh, how to create a bat file. So uh, first, take a text file, new text file, and create it as demo bat.txt. So uh, quickly open this text file and then uh, what you need to uh, give here is uh, first the first and foremost thing is you need to give the path of your robot uh, so for that robot go to windows C and then go to users and, and then go to app yeah, data uh, go to locals here uh, you will find the UA path so in that UA path you can find the app the updated app here so uh, click on this folder and if you scroll down to the bottom if you scroll down to the bottom you, you can be able to find your path robot your robot.exe file executable file over here uh, so copy this file path and then uh, come over here just place that path over here and then uh, give that name robot.exe over here and then you need to uh, execute uh, and then uh, you need to give the file of which need to be executed uh, for that open your workflow and go to project and open this file location 
and it will uh, take you to the file location so I uh, just copy this path or there and then uh, quickly come to the text file and then copy paste your path and give the workflow that you want to execute by the back file and here I want uh, main.xml to be executed so um, this is how you write the syntax for the bat file uh, first you need to provide this with the uipath robot path executable path and then you will give a command of execute the file which the file need to be executed so uh, when save while saving this uh, you need to save this as a bat file because this is a text file right so i will create it on my desktop and this is uh, not the text file and this will be the bat file and click on save now uh, we can see here the bat file is created over here uh, if I, I execute this bat file uh, it is same as uh, coming to the uh, main workflow of your project and then checking this run so uh, let me check this whether it is working or not so it is uh, the system is invoking the robot to execute uh, this particular file uh, you can now you can see a message or input dialog the robot is started to execute and uh, you can see uh, the mm, this message box over here which we created in our main workflow so this is uh, the input dialog uh, that is displayed for us so let us quickly close this and see Uh, so uh, this is the input dialog and that we got from executing this bat file command so this is how uh, the bat file works instead of running it from the uipath studio you can uh, run this sequence from your desktop as well and that's it uh, on how to create the batch file for your particular project in uipath studio if you like this video uh, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos and if you have any other uh, queries on videos to be uploaded then please mention them in the comments below thanks for watching